Hello, this is going to be my review of the Polaroid Wave underwater streaming camera. These are some of my thoughts about this camera, not an action camera, at least it doesn't say anywhere in the packaging that it's an action camera, just a camera, so I'm going to be calling it a camera, even though a lot of the cameras I have reviewed on this channel are action cameras. This will be my review, and if you would like to actually skip to the end of this video to see some sample footage and sample photos taken with this camera, please feel free to do that. If you'd rather not hear my thoughts and would just like to see test videos and test photos, that'll be in the next part of the video. So what are my thoughts on this camera? Overall, a very competent camera for taking photos and recording videos. This says camera, but it also records videos for the price. Uh, I paid around $54 before tax, shipping, etc. Not going to guarantee that you're going to pay that price, but given the $50, fi sorry, $54 price that I paid, I'm very happy with this product, even though it's not necessarily my favorite camera or my favorite video camera. For the price, it is very competent, and I know that's all subjective. I like the video quality. I think it's decent. I like the photos. I think they're decent, but really what matters is your opinion, and you can just feel free to go to the next part of this video if you'd like to actually see what the video recordings and the photos look like but subjectively i'm allowed to offer my opinion here and i'm going to do just that what's very interesting about this camera is it's not an action camera even though i really review a lot of action cameras i was happy to buy this because it was only 54 dollars. that's the price i paid to see how it takes photos and records videos one thing which obviously sets it apart from an action camera is that even though it is portable it's much larger than action camera which would be maybe one half of the size you have really a larger screen which is definitely an advantage here and why this camera, the ease of use of this camera is just phenomenal because not only do we have this cool dustproof design, which means you could comfortably put this in your pocket. Oh no, it fell down. And even though there might be a little bit of dust, you can just wipe it away with your finger because there's a covering over the lens. Really, really just elevates this camera above other cheap cameras. Really the fact that it has a dustproof design. Now it does say underwater, but I am not going to comment on really i'm not going to comment on this because i'm not going to submerge a camera that really doesn't have an extra layer of underwater housing i'm afraid to do that so even though it says underwater streaming camera i'm not going to comment on that i'm just going to comment on video and photo quality the microphone picks up a lot of noise when you're recording video so if you're talking very loud which i kind of do into the camera when you're recording videos it will distort the, the voice a little bit because it picks up a lot of audio. <clears throat> That's a good thing and a bad thing. If you're going to use this for commentary, I would maybe lower the, vo the voice volume, which I need to do, or keep the camera away from you so that it doesn't really pick up too much of your voice. The camera is, the microphone here is very competent and will pick up the audio very well. So that is really good and something I like to see if you're going to use this camera for talking, commentary while you're recording, or even just to pick up the sounds that are around. It does the camera microphone... The video camera microphone is very good. So that's definitely a plus. The video quality isn't terribly sharp or terribly detailed, especially in low lighting and really things that are far away. Things that are closer up, it, it's good. There is digital zoom, which is not really the best kind of zoom, but it's still there, which we can um, access by holding down these buttons. I'm going to turn on the camera shortly, but I just want to go through what I think about the camera. The video is not terribly detailed from a far away or in low lighting, but close up, more close up than far away. It, it does okay of job, an okay job of showing detail. Uh, but again, we'll get to that soon. Not going to comment on whether it's waterproof or not. Low lighting, it doesn't really do that well. Some cameras, a few on occasion, will record detailed video when it's darker, but not really this one. So it's fine. It's typical with cheaper cameras that they don't really do well in low lighting. It's it just it is what it is. Photos are okay for the price. For the $54 price, around the price range, that 54 50 to 60 dollar price range for uh for taking photos, the photos are very good, I found, but if I paid $200 or $150, I would certainly expect better photos. A lot of this is in the context of value for money, and I think for the money, the value is very good even though if I were comparing it to some legit action cameras, I would say this video is not the best. But for the design, the cool design, the large screen size, the photos, the dustproof design, I think this is a very nice camera. Even though the video quality is not 
as good as some other cameras I've purchased for a similar price. And the microphone is very good, so if you're going to have commentary, if you're going to talk, or if you just like to record this, any noise around where you're recording, it should pick up pick that up very well, which is awesome. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this camera turning it on. I'm overall satisfied with this camera, mostly because it's kind of unique. It's not an action camera, but it does have a dustproof design. It's very portable still, despite being larger than an action camera, and it's very easy to use. We have the default photo mode, and I use, and I said in my photo video that there was only one setting because I hadn't held down this button to actually access um, the settings. So we have four different settings. The default is under at the top setting, which is fine, so we're just going to leave it there. And again, you can do that um, by holding down this button to access those settings. Same with the video, even though that'll result in still we're only going to see one video setting. So how do we get to video mode? Click the button here, video mode, and now playback mode is on the last one, uh, the last uh, option. So now we're on video mode, uh, playback mode, photo mode again. So we kind of have this rubbery texture here. We have this smooth texture here where we can just wipe dust off the lens. Overall, very easy to use. Uh, we have this digital zoom. We can access that by just clicking the up or the down button all the way to four times digital zoom very cool looking camera and portable and of course what makes it even more portable is that it doesn't really get dirty you can just wipe the dust off it's not like one of those cameras that adding a fingerprint will cause the lens to get super dirty and smudged because there is a cover over the lens this has been my review of this camera i think it's very cool for the reasons i outlined just now but of course perhaps not outstanding video quality compared to some other cameras even though this is still a cheap price that I purchased it for a little a little bit less than $60 definitely an interesting product and the screen size large screen size makes it easier really to take to take photos um, <clears throat> and to record videos but in low lighting and far away objects the video is not really going to shine very well there's less detail but um, generally speaking the video quality I think is okay just make sure when you're recording, you keep the camera still. Don't kind of move it around because then um, it'll be really harder to see the video. So no image stabilization on the video recording here. Just try to stabilize the camera yourself by keeping it very still, moving it very slowly. This has been my review of the Polaroid Wave uh, camera that you see here, which records videos and takes photos. Thanks for watching this video. In the next part of this video, you will see some sample videos recorded with this camera and some sample photos taken with this camera. This is the Polaroid Wave camera. Hello, this is going to be another video test. The Polaroid Wave camera. While it's starting to snow just a little bit more, we want to make another video test. This camera has four times digital zoom. <coughs> As you can see here, digital zoom. Going to zoom out now. This is a video test with the Polaroid Wave action camera. video test with the Polaroid Wave camera, not an action camera. Certainly larger than a typical action camera, so I believe this is not described as an action camera on the box, so I'm just going to say this is a camera. Video test with the Polaroid Wave <coughs> camera. video test with the Polaroid Wave camera.
Hello, this is a video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera that you can see right here. We are recording with this camera. Budget friendly camera recently purchased on Amazon. One video setting available and we are recording right now. Just see how well can you hear me right now. And um, how good do you think the video quality is on this budget-friendly camera? Here is the camera that we're recording with right now. This is the Polaroid Wave camera. I'm just trying to test the uh, video capabilities on this camera on this uh, Monday, Monday afternoon, late afternoon and Monday. No stabilization available, at least not that I, not that I know of. No additional video resolution settings available, at least not that I know of, but very happy to have the simplicity here. This is the Polaroid Wave camera, which records videos and takes photos. This is an extended video test if you're just curious about the video recording capabilities of this camera, which um, if it's primarily going to be a camera, hopefully the videos, I mean, hopefully the photos will look very nice. For now, I think it's very nice to have a camera that also records videos Monday afternoon quite a nice day very warm uh, this February extended video test with the Polaroid wave camera that you see pictured here let me just show you show you again camera that camera that we're recording with this is the Polaroid wave camera as you can see in my mirror and all we're doing is just showing the video recording capabilities here on this bright somewhat cloudy um, Monday afternoon extended video test with the Polaroid wave camera quality looks like when we play it back on our on our computer this is the Polaroid wave camera that you see right here extended video test Can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is on this uh, camera? Extended video test with the Polaroid Wave uh, camera. Hello, this is a video test in the snow with the Polaroid Wave camera. As you can see, it's sort of snowing just a little bit. I wanted to make this video test. The uh, camera is, uh, advertises itself as being uh, waterproof, uh, an underwater camera. But I'm not going to submerge the camera underwater. Just making this a video test so you can see what it looks like. Uh, even though I'm not going to submerge the camera, I am comfortable with filming with the camera while it's uh, just snowing a little bit. So here it is. This is the the Polaroid Wave camera. We'll put to get 
a little bit of the sense, a little bit of a sense of <clears throat> video quality here while it is snowing. Polaroid Wave camera. This is a video test. We have we also have the zoom, four times uh, digital zoom, which is very cool, as you can see here. Quality is now a little bit worse because um, we use the digital zoom. Here it is. <coughs> now we're going to zoom out. Okay, now we've zoomed out. We're not using the digital zoom anymore. This is a video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Video test while it is <coughs> snowing a little bit. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Monday evening. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Video test the Polaroid Wave camera. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Purchased recently on Amazon. Video test.